Today, we're making snow peas and a shrimp stir fry in garlic sauce. This is another easy and tasty dish. The shrimp is very juicy, snow peas is fresh and crunchy. I'll show you how to make this weeknight friendly healthy dish. Here are the ingredients we need. 5 cloves of garlic, 1 small thumb of ginger, 4 to 5 green onions. I also prepared the 12 shrimps. Lastly, 1 pound of fresh snow peas. Now let's dive in. First, mince the ginger and set it aside. Next, mince 5 cloves of garlic. Also set it aside for later use. For the green onions, we're just going to chop them into fine pieces. Once everything is cut up, let's prepare the shrimp. I'm using the previous frozen shrimp. They are peeled and deveined. First, pat dry the shrimp. This makes the pan fry easier, also the texture won't be mushy. Then we're going to marinate the shrimp with salt, black pepper, a pinch of sugar, then some cornstarch. Mix everything together. The marinade can go from 10 minutes to 20 minutes depending on your schedule. We are going to set the shrimp aside and now let's start working on the snow peas. First, we're going to snap the end off and pull off the string. If you had a snow peas in the restaurant before and it tasted very stringy, then it's most likely they skipped this step. Even though this takes some extra time, I recommend not to skip it just for a better texture. I sorted out all the snow peas that took me about 5 minutes. Now it's the key step making the garlic sauce. To make this sauce, we need all the chopped green onions, half of the minced ginger. We are also going to use half of the minced garlic at this time. For the other half of the ginger and the minced garlic, we're going to save them when we pan fry the shrimp. To season the sauce, we're going to add a salt, a pinch of sugar, light soy sauce, cornstarch, sesame oil, and finally, water. Now mix everything together until cornstarch is well dissolved. This is a good time to taste the sauce so you can adjust the flavor accordingly. When the sauce is ready, let's move over to the stove. Add a small amount of oil in the pan. Turn the heat to medium low. Saute the minced garlic and the minced ginger that we set it aside. Keep stirring for about 30 seconds until it's aromatic. Then drop in the shrimps for pan frying. Spread the shrimp in the pan. Make sure every piece is being heated evenly. You can adjust the heat back to medium or medium high but I would not recommend to set it high because we want to make sure there's enough time to cook the shrimps inside out. Pan fry the shrimp for about one minute until one side is golden. Then turn to the other side, continue pan frying. Pan fry the other side for another one minute. Then stir the shrimp in the pan. This is to make sure if there's some spot is not cooked, it can be cooked at this time. It normally takes about 3 minutes for the shrimps to be cooked well, but not overcooked. Once every shrimp is showing the lovely golden color on both sides, take them out. This is a very healthy and a relatively light dish, so we're not going to add more oil, just drop in the snow peas. Then stir fry right away. Instead of blanch the snow peas, I'm going to use a little bit of water and with the help of the steam to cook the snow peas. Make sure only use a little bit of water though. We don't want to boil the snow peas in the water. We want to maintain its freshness and its crunchiness. When the snow peas start turning from light color to a little bit dark green, that's the sign they're ready. This step takes no more than one minute. When the snow peas are ready, keep them in a pan, pour in the garlic sauce. Stir a little bit because the cornstarch tends to stay at the bottom.
continue to use medium heat, high heat will thicken the sauce a little too fast before you're ready. Once the snow peas is coated with the sauce, drop in the shrimps. You can always add the extra water here if you prefer the dish to be a little bit more saucy. The sauce on the rice, it's amazing. As you can see, the sauce starts thickening in the pan. Just keep stir frying, making sure everything is coated with the amazing sauce. Do that for about a half a minute, then this tasty snow peas, shrimp and garlic sauce is ready. The key to this recipe is the garlic sauce. I always like to add a little extra ginger just to enhance the flavor. Ginger will help to get rid of the fishness of the shrimp. So give it a try and let me know how you like it. I'll see you next time.